Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will announce the launch of our new Zero to Hero series and specially about this series, I am super super excited because this series is going to be the best on YouTube. Pause the video, try to guess what is this series going to be. Let's see how many of you can get it right. Going back, this series will have the best documentation, best architecture diagrams, examples, demos, and like every Zero to Hero series of ours, we are going to cover topics right from the basics. We will learn what, why, and how. You don't believe me? Wait for a couple of minutes. I will share the GitHub repository with all of you. And after watching the GitHub repository, I'm sure you will be surprised. So the GitHub repository is only 80% done. We are working on the rest 20%. And once the rest 20% is done, we will start the series. Okay, now without any further delay, let me share my screen and show you what is going to be our next Zero to Hero series. Okay, no more surprises. And I'm sure many of you might have guessed it right as well. It's going to be Observability Zero to Hero. So we are going to do a seven day Observability tutorial series. Before I explain the prerequisites for this series and what are we going to learn right from day one to day seven. I should thank Ankit for working with me on this repository. So Ankit was working with me for the last 30 days for preparing the contents, architecture diagram, complete notes for this repository. And we are committed to complete the rest 20% as soon as possible. If you are wondering, Abhishek, why is it taking so much time? Watch the video till the end and once I explain you the complete series, you will also understand why. Starting with prerequisites. So there are absolutely zero prerequisites for this series. Even if you don't know what is observability, you can still start with this series. So in day one, we will cover what is observability, why observability and the difference between monitoring and observability. A lot of people don't understand what is the difference between monitoring and observability, which is very important to learn if you are a DevOps engineer or SRE engineer. We will also cover different tools in the space of monitoring and observability. And I will explain the three pillars of observability that is logging tracing and metrics. After watching the video, you can go to the day one folder. And if you click on the readme file, this readme file will help you to summarize the contents that you have learned in the video. So you can download this as PDF file or you can use this GitHub readme file anytime to revise the content that I have explained in the video. Moreover, there are cool images, architecture diagrams that can enhance your understanding of what you have learned in the video. If you just go through day one or any day folder, you will see it will also help you for the interview preparation because we have also covered interview questions and answers. You can see the amount of detailing that is went into each day. So that is why this report took a lot of time. So that was about day one. And in day two, we will start with metrics. So we will focus on monitoring, which is mostly about metrics, historical data collection. And the tool that we will focus is Prometheus. We will focus on Prometheus and integration with Grafana. So in day two, you will learn what is Prometheus, the architecture of Prometheus, how to 
install and configure Prometheus on a EKS cluster and how to integrate that with Grafana. Again, if you go to the day two folder and click on the readme file, you can see what things that we have covered as part of revision. You will learn the Prometheus architecture through this excellent design diagram. You will learn about Prometheus server, service discovery in Prometheus, the push gateway, alert manager, exporters, integration with Grafana and steps to install and configure Prometheus on a EKS cluster. Then in day three, we will learn the metrics part of Prometheus. That is how to use PromQL, how to collect metrics in Prometheus, how to use it, what are the different types of metrics and we will deep dive into PromQL and its usage. So we have a lot of examples as well in the readme file that can help you enhance your understanding. Then in day four, we will focus on custom metrics. So if you go back to the readme file, you can see in day four, we will learn about instrumentation and custom metrics. Again, if you are a SRE engineer, especially this part is going to help you a lot. How to use the custom metrics in uh, Prometheus. We will also use a sample Node.js application and we will deploy that in Kubernetes. We will also learn how to set up alert manager for alerting based on custom metrics. So we have examples for this as well in the day four readme file. So the test scripts are also available for the custom metrics. Everything that is required for you to learn. Once we are done with monitoring part. So till now we have focused on metrics monitoring using Prometheus and Grafana. In day five, we will learn about EFK stack. So if you learn EFK stack, you are also confident and comfortable with ELK stack. So we will be using EFK stack. We will learn what are the different components in EFK stack, Elasticsearch, Fluentbit and Kibana. We will use them on Kubernetes and we will understand the log collection as well as visualization. So that is about day five and in the day five folder of the notes, you will see everything that is required from the interview point of view, difference between EFK stack and ELK stack. What are the different other components that are available? The architecture of the EFK stack and as usual steps to install EFK stack on a Kubernetes cluster. We will move to day six where we will focus on distributed tracing. So we have completed metrics by now. We have completed logging and finally we will focus on the distributed tracing part. And in the distributed tracing, there are a lot of tools. We will use Jaeger and using that, we will try to understand how you can use distributed tracing for debugging what went wrong with your application. So we will also be covering the open telemetry as part of day six. And finally, in day seven, we are still working on the day seven where we are thinking about eBPF, which is a modern thing in the space of uh, observability or we are thinking about interview questions. So once we are done working on the day seven part, I will announce when I'm going to start this series on the channel. Like I said, this is going to be super exciting and the best on YouTube because you will get interview preparation material. You will get the complete things that I'm going to explain in the video tutorials. So what are you waiting for? Share this observability zero to hero with all of your DevOps friends and make sure this series will reach every DevOps aspirant that you know. And especially for this series, we have invested a lot of time because we want to make it the best. If you go through the GitHub repository and spend five to 10 minutes, you will realize 
how beautiful is this series thank you so much see you all in the next video take care bye bye